Good evening. Commitment shows up in your life through action. You can tell people who are committed and those people who don't feel worthy. The people that are committed are busy doing it. The people that don't feel worthy are, the, are like a guy I talked to last night who told me, hey, I sure like to do what you're doing. However, I just don't want the responsibility. The company I work for, they're taking good care of me. I say, let me tell you something. Once you increase your sense of worthiness, you won't even be able to open your mouth saying that somebody is taking care of you. You want to take care of yourself. But see, because he doesn't feel worthy, he's intelligent. 17 years from major corporation, they've spent thousands of dollars training him. He knows he has the book knowledge, but his attitude is, his vision of himself, his sense of deservingness says, you can't have that. So he will fabricate all kinds of excuses on why he can't have it. Robert Anthony said something. Robert Anthony said that you can only have two things in life, reasons or results. Notice, reasons don't count. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Folks will always point out reasons on why they are not living their dream on why they're not manifesting their greatness. They will always be able to point those things out, but none of those things count. The only thing that counts are results. And results don't lie, ladies and gentlemen. They tell it all. Judge a tree by the fruit that it bears, not the ones that it might talk about, not the ones that it might wish for, or think about, or firm about, but the fruit that it actually bears. So let us look. I think that all of us are, are committed. But I think that some of us are producing results in our lives that that level of commitment brings that we particularly don't like or find distasteful. I don't think that as a participant in life, you cannot be committed. You're either committed to mediocrity or you're committed to greatness. You're either committed to being productive or you're committed to being non-productive. You're committed to being happy or you're committed to being unhappy. See, whatever you're doing, however you spend your time, that tells you who you are. So think about what it is you like to create in your life experience. Once I look at how you commit your time, once I do an evaluation on how you spend your time, I can tell you exactly what you're committed to. People that say they have dreams or want to open a business or want to do something differently than what they're now doing, they don't like their jobs, they're unhappy, they're unfulfilled. People who say they want to improve their income level, look at how they spend their time. How they spend their time, the commitment of their time, how they use that, that will really tell the truth. People who said, I'd like to do better, but you don't find them in vocational or technical schools, upgrading their skills and their knowledge, how they spend their time, that will tell you what's going on. People who say they want to normalize their weight, they want to be healthy, but every time you see them, they're eating, that will tell you that they're committed to being obese for the rest of their lives. People tell you they want to stop smoking and they're lighting up at that time. <laughs> Folk that say, I want to stop drinking and every time you're in their face, they're reeking with alcohol. That will tell you what's going on. Don't have to listen to what they say. Just watch what they do. Commitment shows up in your life in what you do. On the other hand, you can make the commitment to your life that you don't like the results that you have and that you're going to do something about it. See, that power is available to all of us. People who look at life and decide, I want something different for myself. Carol Hatfield, Carol lives in Detroit, single mother, decided that she wanted to go into her own business, did not have enough money to do it. She wanted to have a health food store. She sold her car and used the money to start in a little storefront, a little hole in the wall. She rode to work on a bicycle. And then when she got enough money, she, she bought a motor scooter and did that for a long time. She's now a very successful person. She now has three health food stores. She said it was hard, it's a struggle, Les. She said, but I did it. She said, I made the commitment to do it and I did it. Why is it that people are frightened by commitment? Because when you say the word commitment, that intimidates a lot of people. Why? Because it means you have to deliver. See, most people, you ask them, hey, look here, I'd like for you to do this. They'll say, I'll try. 
I'll try means that is my escape clause. When I don't come through, it's really a polite no. I don't have the courage to tell you no, so I'll tell you I'll try. Hey, look here, I need you to come to this meeting. I'll try. I say, what do you mean? You're going to lean toward the meeting? 